Big track. Big track. Big track. All right. All right, guys, day one, dreamers of drift. So what I just finished doing is kind of setting up my paddock area, just like I would do in normal autocross. The only difference is since there's a lot of changes you can make to the car to make it do what you want to do is I got a track journal and I just finished putting in all of my settings here before the driver's meeting. The only change I'm going to make is bump up the rear tire pressures from 35 to 40 PSI. And then all of my dampening on the BC coilovers are set right in the middle at 15. That way I can adjust to stiff or soft and just really document everything. That way I know what changes do what when I make them and I don't forget. So let's go ahead and get the day started. Now, since this is my first drift event, I'm getting some help from my good friend, Sean Coyne. So Sean, what are you gonna help me with today? Uh, we're gonna get drifting. Um, Pretty straightforward. Help, yeah, we're gonna help him get uh, some car control down and uh, yeah, get him off the skid pad as soon as possible so we can run some doors. So you promised me something yesterday was? Huh. You said my goal is to? Oh, get you doing a third gear entry. <laughs> so if we if we get that far today, I'm gonna be really impressed <laughs> <laughs> because I'm, uh, I'm actually, I mean, I'll, I'll admit, man, I'm nervous. Those nervous feelings but I remember feeling like this when I started autocrossing yeah. and then once I got it down it was just you feel at home this is gonna feel like your first donut like going to a parking lot yeah. when you're in high school yeah it's like that jittery feeling you're gonna be slapping the steering wheel and it's, it's gonna be yeah I enjoy uh, trying to help as much as I can so um, if anybody's willing to let me behind the wheel I'm obviously down but um, it's, it's you know sometimes if it's not clicking it's easier to see somebody do it you know especially in your car you know it makes it yeah makes you see what you're doing and like okay that's it's not me it's, it's not the car it's definitely me so yeah i know i've already tested some stuff out but we're not going to give anything away so all right i'm gonna get ready for this driver's meeting and then uh we'll see you soon we'll do it Sean's actually going to be driving this BMW. It's his brother-in-law's. He drives an SC300. And what we really want to do is he wants to get his brother-in-law's other car on track in tandem. So he brought this car out. And as you can see, there you go, big spoolie boy. This is a clean car. When it pulled up, I was like, man, this kind of looks like an autocross car. So that's going to be nice to see out there. That's a nice car. And there's a really nice Mustang right there, 5.0. Super dope.
just finished my first set of uh, donuts. Call them more like oblongs because, uh, yeah, I got some work to do. So until I get down this figure eight, I'm not allowed to go on the track. So I'm going to practice as much as I can to get this figure eight down because I want to go on the track with the big boys. So just uh, heat cycling tires, pulling them off. And um, yeah, I'm about to go back out there on the skid pad. So hopefully in the next clip, I made some progress. I just finished my second time on the skid pad with Ashley and she and I said I'm gonna keep working on my donuts and she said hell no you better work on them figure eights she said <laughs> she said you already know you can do a damn donut <laughs> so uh tons of progress between the first time and the second time so yeah I went from barely doing a donut to doing donuts to now working on the figure eight I can get out of the donut into the, the figure eight motion but it, to me the car's still whipping too hard right it's like too sharp so I want to kind of float that out and make it just fluid as possible. Would you agree that it's like still too? I mean, we'll watch the footage on the GoPro. It's getting better. It's I feel the progress for sure. Yeah, so pretty excited. It's going to be a really hot day. There's heat warning, heat advisory. So we're going to keep uh, heat cycling these tires and cooling them off. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So Sean is topping off my water because when I pulled up, I had a bit of a coolant leak. And it looks like in the back of the valley here is the only spot that's wet and he's a master Ford mechanic and he mentioned that more than likely there's a crossover tube that o-rings might be bad or it might be broken so he's gonna keep driving it with the leak he's just gonna watch drive, the temperature drive, 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 driving drive, drive, drive. We're, we're gonna achieve something today <laughs> we're gonna achieve something we're today make excuses. everyone says i'm ready for the big track big track big track big track all right we're sold big track status update i did get on the big track uh, with ashley i wasn't able to link any turns yet and the gopro overheated so essentially i couldn't um record anything but honestly there wasn't really much to record so no worries there ethan did get some footage um but yeah had a noise in the front passenger steering uh front passenger wheel ended up just being a rock between the dust shield and the rotor got that out of there um and that leak is definitely in the valley, so just keep an eye on that and only doing about three laps before I pull right back off. Uh, so letting everything cool down, kind of grabbing some grub real quick. We'll get back out there.
I already lost count on what session that was. I had a couple of good moments there, but still didn't link the track. What's really happening is I'm leaking coolant everywhere and I'm just not gonna risk it. I feel like it's just getting worse and I keep topping it off with the water. And at this point, there's just water in the cooling system. So this last run, Ashley told me, like, you're gonna keep going? I was like, you're right, let me not get too zealous. Let me just shut it down real quick and uh, go let it cool off and top it off. Um, but yeah, Isaac finally made it. He's out here with us. He hit a couple laps in his Mustang, but now they're changing up the course. So I'm with Edward, like the vampire. You know, the right in Middle Texas, we say it the other way, Edward Coulomb. Edward Coulomb. I'm with Edward Coulomb. <laughs> and uh, so run me down real quick, what year? 2014 5 -0. 2014 Mustang GT 5.0. You got a hydro. We'll get into that. You say you don't really use it. And uh, you're running a make it modular. Uh, make it modular angle kit. Shout out to Matt. Shout out to Matt Sopa, man. Killing it. So he, he thinks that what I'm missing in my driving is a little more of an angle kit because the cars are so snappy. And yeah. it's true. I, this car is so snappy. Um, but we're about to see some magic here, huh? Hell yeah. Let's do it, bro. It's been a few days since the last event now clearly based off that footage i have a lot to learn but with that there's something that i actually want to say and that's that i can't thank the event organizers and all my friends pretty much everybody at the event for supporting me and pushing me to drive better and keep trying because it's not for the faint of heart um i thought i was gonna do a lot better everyone's telling me for my very first drift event ever to go from the skid pad to the big track and the first hour was a big leap but getting to the big track and trying to get these links turned, trying to get my initiation down right, my clutch kick. Um, that's where I had some of the trouble, but that's the power and beauty of footage. I have been reviewing the footage, comparing it to my other friends driving, and I can see a lot of big mistakes. One of which was on the big track, was inputting way too much steering angle when I clutch kicked, which was probably causing me, it was causing me to uh, completely over rotate. And I forgot the gentleman's name next to me in the paddock, but he was the first one to tell me that like you, you might just be putting in too much steering angle when you go to initiate. He's like, you really just gotta do just this much, just a little bit. And upon watching the footage, I was putting in way more steering angle than I actually needed. Ultimately, what caused me to throw in the towel for the day was the coolant leak just getting worse. I did drive the car to the event because it was relatively close, didn't take a trailer, um, but that's an easy fix. I'll be fixing that this coming weekend, getting ready for the next drift event next month. So if you're watching this and you want to get into drifting and you're worried about looking like I did out there, uh, don't because everybody in this community is super helpful. They want you to be better. So they have more friends uh, to tandem with and be out there with. I know myself, I want to tandem with my homies out there. So I'm completely committed to getting this down. So in the next video, I will be installing the rack spacers and completing the rack limiter delete on top of that. And then we're going to go test that out. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. And let me know if you got any questions, if you have any advice, anything down in the comments below. Until next time, guys, peace out.